Hey everybody, it's Stacy, and uh, I'm doing another one of these flip cups trying to get this right. This person wants it to be, you know, mostly metallics and amethyst and metallic y. And the problem is, if you use too many metallics, they muddy up. You know, uh, these are all real tall cups, way too much paint, but I overdid it. And I'll just see the best I can do to get this on the canvas. I know I'm going to miss quite a bit because they're all really high filled and uh, that's hard to do. But luckily there's plenty of paint in them so when I miss it isn't going to hurt anything much. It's not so bad considering how high these are filled. They're really full. I have to sit there and kind of work up to it, you know. I know it's going to splatter everywhere. I have to hold the canvas too because it's not sturdy. Okay, one more. I did pretty good because those were really filled high. All right, this has got some of the same colors I did last time. Uh, some, a lot of deco art, deco art, uh, emerald green. Amethyst, there's two uh, amethyst and uh, berry, 24 karat gold, turquoise, then there's Prussian blue, doxazine purple, and uh, oh, the uh, pewter that's a deco art one too. Pewter, it's kind of a silvery gray. Um, color. All right, that's a lot of paint there. It's oozing off the end. And the sides. Well, it looks like it's got some pretty cell activity in it. Alrighty, so what are these cells? I wish all my cell groupings would come in the middle instead of being these pretty parts on the outside because I can't ever keep them. All right, we gotta get, oh, I can get that corner. Normally I wouldn't be so sloppy with my corners, I, but uh, on this one, I have so much paint that I've got to pour some off and it's not going to hurt anything if I dump a little extra off the sides. These have got pretty cells, a lot more cells than what I have been having. Um, I've done several of these flip cups with these type colors, um, you know, with a bunch of these uh, metallics. And I was having trouble with the cells. I just wasn't getting the, the cells that I wanted. And um, this one looks like it might be better. I might be getting some, some better cells. Still gotta dump some off. It's beautiful. This might be the one, I don't know. I, for this particular person and this particular painting, I just wanted it to be really, really like fabulous. I mean, really outstandingly 
full of cells and just beautiful, you know, lots of activity and um, interesting colors and shapes and stuff. And um, I was just having trouble. Um, I've been having trouble getting it to um, be like I, you know, wanted it to be. And, um, this is closer. This is, um, more like what I was kind of hoping that I'd get. There's just still a whole lot of paint on there. I gotta do something. Yeah, the only thing, you know, um, I was thinking, since I'm not seeing what I want, you know, I was thinking, well, maybe I need to do a, a swipe or probably I'll try, I'll try a Shelly Art one also with these colors. That might be the answer to it. This one is closer to what I was wanting than anything else. It's pretty. Um, I don't know if it's exactly what I want or not. We'll have to see how it dries can't really tell about anything until they dry, you know what I mean? Most everything is going to look different. I mean, everything is going to look different when it's wet. And, you know, I, nine times out of ten, my paintings look pretty good when they're wet. But a lot of times they dry. I mean, I probably shouldn't say a lot of times, but a good number of times they dry and they look totally different and they don't like it. You know, it, it just depends. But I've had, you know, have a lot of times where I, uh, I will like something when it's wet, and then I see it when it's dry, and I'm just like, holy crap, that doesn't even look like the same thing. You know, where did my colors go? You know, whatever. I mean, I just had that happen. Everybody has that happen. Um, because they look different, you know, and, uh, you, you know, mixing colors such that when they dry, they look just as good as when they're wet. And two, resin helps, you know, if, a lot of times something will dry, and I'm not just crazy about it, but I remember being crazy about it when it was wet, and I know that when I put the resin on it, it's going to look that good again, because when you put the resin on it, it wakes up all those colors again. So you have that that you can kind of look forward to, you know, and count on, whatever, but that's just kind of blah. It's just not nearly, you know, as flamboyant as I was going for. I, I just, you know how it is when, you, when you're working on something and you have something in mind, um, you know when you see it, um, and I haven't seen it yet. This is pretty, it's okay, it's not outstanding it's not gorgeous it's just you know it's pretty um i can't tell you exactly why i don't you know what i'm looking for but i'll know it when i see it but i'll get y'all down and let y'all have a look at this one anyway it's it's pretty you know and it, it might end up being the one i don't know i mean um we'll have to see how it dries but i'm definitely gonna mix up some shelly art stuff and do a uh blow dryer uh like a Dutch pour. Um, I hope y'all can see because I know sometimes the camera is fuzzy and I have to adjust it. I hope it's not doing that. I hope you're seeing good. But the way I have to use the camera on this tripod, I'm not able to see what you're seeing. Anyway, um, 
Yeah, that's horrible. Y'all can't see where he is at all. I'm trying to make it where you can. Anyway, I appreciate y'all joining me and being with me. Um, thanks for helping support my channel. Y'all come back next time. Um, I'm going to get my other tripod back in here so the visuals will be better. But in the meantime, I appreciate you being here. Thanks a lot. I'll see y'all next time.